This video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. Manta Sleep Masks are incredible blackout sleep masks. They're made with comfortable, breathable material, and the C-shaped eye cups put zero pressure on your eyes or eyelashes. I have the Manta Sleep Mask Pro and the Manta Sleep Mask Sound. Now, off the bat, I have to say, these are just great sleep masks. They do exactly what they say. They're soft and comfortable, even for a side sleeper like me. So two things that I really love about the Manta sleep masks that get honestly kind of overlooked. These masks are completely adjustable so that you can make them the perfect size for your head, but it's done with the tiniest Velcro I've ever seen. Look at, look at how tiny this Velcro is. I did not know they made Velcro this small. Uh, apparently, Velcro technology has completely advanced without me knowing it, and we're just living in the future right now. But what I love about this is that it doesn't get caught in your hair. Other Velcro, I could not do this with, you know what I mean? I, I know that sleep is the priority, but also hair is a little bit my priority, so I love that feature. The other thing that I love about the sleep mask sound, specifically, is that even though the Bluetooth headphones have a 20-hour battery life, when they die, they don't make a, a little noise alert to let you know that they've died. I have other Bluetooth headphones that I wear at night because I listen to ASMR. Uh, and when the batteries die, they make a little sound, a noise alert, to let me know, and like, it wakes me up in the middle of the night. It's such a simple thing, but I love that these do not do that. It's amazing. Like, it's a game changer, honestly. Oh, and all of these pieces? Machine washable. Look, they even come with a little bag so that you can put them in the wash. Bob's your uncle. Easy. You can see all the different masks that are available to make your naps and big sleeps even more enjoyable by visiting Manta Sleep. As well, for 10% off your order, use code WHISPERLAND at checkout. The direct link and the discount code are in the description, as always. Uh, so please check that out. It helps support this channel. Thank you again to Manta Sleep. And this one goes here, and then that code is... Let's see here. Don't mind me. There are specific codes for each shutdown mechanism. I'm afraid you'll have to bear with me while I submit each code into the cerebellum processor. I mean, ultimately it's not something you have much of a say on, but anyways, don't think of me as being bossy. More so, I like to picture it like I'm talking you into Except your bed is being in a stagnative, low power state with epocoupler quadros deactivated. I know. I'm too much. I'm kind of the office funny guy. Well, you've been working incredibly hard. Incredibly. So let's settle down, okay? You did all of us proud. So you should be truly proud of yourself. Your standards for reliability, durability, and congeniality are truly exemplary, and I commend you. 
maybe some would think it's a, a bit weird for me to be congratulating you, but I say, you never know. <laughs> There's a point to putting love into everything around you. Look, between you and me, have a certain fondness for you. I know Dr. Anderson insists that you haven't and technically cannot develop a personality or individualistic thoughts, but I just can't look at you like that. You're more than just a machine to me. I think of you like any co-worker. I look at you just the same way I look at Dr. Barry or Miss Rubin here in the office. Just as much worth smiling at and Greeting with small pleasantries. <laughs> How's your day been? Thank gosh, it's Friday. Or, uh, working hard. Or hardly working. <laughs> Those are just a few of my favorites, but, uh, I've got all sorts. You could stand to learn of you yourself. You know, for whenever you figure out how to talk. Okay, uh, let's see here. I can get started on the shutdown procedure, but that might take a bit to complete. So, we could be here a while. Tuck in. That reminds me, one thing I'm supposed to go over with you before uh, clocking out tonight is our team's plan for tomorrow. The Daily Minutia of Schedule. So, uh, expected duties. <laughs> I want to make sure you know what you're doing. You can impress them all. You're every bit as smart and talented as the rest of these black hats. I mean, don't tell them I said that, but it's true. And one day they'll see you for it. I guarantee that as much. One can take it as one of the great signs of modern technology that anything that is currently in principle passable will be done if we want it enough. So you've got to think about that too. Mm -hmm. And develop a, a will of your own best you can. Let the Real of scientific breakthrough run through your electro current system as well. Right, so um, I'm not sure if anyone's walked you through this before or not, but it's a very simple procedure that you, that you will be performing. So we'll be. Uh, Enacting and interacting with the turbo and cabulator. The stakes are high and yet still impossibly low. Oh, listen, I'll do you the favor of installing some technical journals onto your server just in case at some point if your system. Styles out. 
failing to conjure a command. You can just refer to that pretty easily from the file lookup system. Ideally, you won't have to use it, but it'll be there as sort of a failsafe, if you will. Operational manual suggests hitting you and retcon for bitch 7x override the frown hit express through startup until the reactive silver clicks that will conjure up the technical journals and um, the disks will operate towards the occipital retina I'm sure that you've interacted with it before, but the instrument in question, the turbo encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved with what we'll be doing tomorrow is that instead of power generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, going to be produced by the module interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitative diffractance. Since we've reached such a high level of development with this machine, requires a steady hand. Steady hand in operation as well. That's where you'll go. We'll need you to refill some of the gram meters around the differential spurtle spring. Hold on. Can you be a little more still for a minute? I've got a few more codes I need to input here. I know it was eight. Eight zero zero eight five. Wait, something. Eight zero. Ah, oh, I remember. There it is. As I was saying, the first thing you're gonna want to do tomorrow is remove the camshaft from the strombometer. It can easily be removed to and from the distributor with an Ellis spark gasket. You'll want to, of course, wear Helios belt gloves to protect from general wear and tear. Luminous radar glow can have nasty side effects when not considered with immense respect. This goes without saying. It's worth saying. But it goes without saying. Grasping the distributor firmly in one hand, you want to turn left three to four times till you recognize a general popping sound. This is a naturally occurring sound from the release of the thermo bracket directly into the hull of the capsulometer. However, you want to be on the lookout for deviations which can be considered notable when projecting a whistling sort of sound. In the event that you do notice a sound such as this, double check that your roller timing quadrant tubes are secure before moving forward with the rest of this procedure. Carrying on, the camshaft can be set aside and reused so 
long as you're sure to thoroughly clean the mashing applicant fan and injector manifolds. Hmm. Well, you wouldn't want to start her up with a mess like that. Rookie mistake. But you'll be fine. Just fine. Just follow these instructions. Smooth sailing. The other thing is, uh, when it comes to refilling the Femi line, you want to take great care around the intricator. This large conductor has a circulatory crevasse system that uses inertia subterfuge to pulsate directly into Mitogascular. To begin the refilling process, start by donning your official safety goggles that protect from sparks of gamma tuberin. of contact are very slim, but pays to be prepared, as we all know. Next, you're going to want to open the four Donnelly nut system, using, of course, the correctly sized square-ended unilateral index jammer. Once opened, You'll notice the base plate of prefabulated aluminite surmounted by malleable logarithmic casing that lines two main spurving bearings near the pentametric fan. They'll be set in quite tightly so as to prevent side fumbling, but you should be able to slide it open in the slot with the front tremie pipe. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple, right? Barely any point to explaining it, but I oftentimes find myself thinking I could have performed so much better if someone had just taken the time to explain things to me right beforehand. Prior to the task, you know, I just want to set you up for success. I know you don't leave the office as much as I do. Go home at night like the rest of us, but you're just as much a part of this project. I always consider you fondly in my mind for that reason. You're just the same as me, in a way. Why? That's why I'll always consider you in that way, and why looking after you will never be something I do with the drudgery. Why? You have your own mind, too. I guess in some ways we made it for you, but... It's a mind just the same. You've got your bits. Way you and I have known 
each other really long time, although I'm not sure your memory in your machinery is able to maintain that yet, but I remember when they first presented your blueprints. Sure. I was excited. You know, me being new to the team and all, eager to prove my own scientific knowledge to the crew. Or maybe wanting to have scientific knowledge. Or any knowledge. <laughs> really. It was considered a huge still making adjustments all the time. I think the team is really on to something great. So are you, I suppose, in that respect. Many, many years of hard work come together to propel us forward. First, it was uh, distressing because diagnosing reluctant faults can be a problem. It required a lot of back and forth between the departments, and at one point we were troubleshooting a major issue with the emotive intermovement fluxometer. selected an alternative transmission system, but that didn't seem to have any effect when we ran tests on the system fault meters. We had to connect the DRB2 to the after end of the maxi interrupter using a special adapter we made sure the optimality of the face detractors was not extrapolated. Another common fault was the sigmid rumbling below the belt line. To correct this fault, we referred to diagnostic procedures fabricated on previous test machines. By simulating the MAT test, we were able to measure the wrench in output of the capacitative Rackton's flux muster. Proper torquing involves tightening a quickening bolt carefully and precisely. Luckily, we didn't have to manually assign any wing shaft metric value due to the mechanism height cupid reader we installed. Since it was above 10 GBs, we just replaced the whole unit. <laughs> I'm not always sure that gadgetry or fancy machines the best sign of us moving towards the future. But amongst my colleagues, it certainly is. There's always excitement around the office about new inventions, discoveries, things like that. Recently, my team, well, our team, we've made some huge leaps and bounds forward. Our goal is to make the life of the everyday person a little better. When most things our design stage comes down to this concept and question, will this improve society in the 
future? It always comes back to this question for us. To me, there's a change in the character of knowledge. Mm. This, I think, is the most important thing. In this respect, by and large, the most important knowledge today can be considered theoretical knowledge. I would say to try to look at structural changes in society as an overall determinant of science. Perhaps that's more of a philosophical sort of mindset. Signs of us moving towards the future. One could say is how the treatment of all of us goes, including you. Mm. That's why I want to be a part of it. We all have to work together if we want to be in them flying cars one day. Well, thinking it'll be you before me, though. Do not agree with me. Not my strong point. You know, a few weekends ago, me and the Judys went shopping and they encouraged me to try on some sky high heels. Nearly two inches. I could barely walk. Man was not meant to be up that high, I think. We went to Sally's Satellite Dress Shop. It's Basie's department store. Not a place you'd find me that often, but I went, I went. <laughs> find it a bit overwhelming, even just to uh, get there. You have to pass through the Galaxy Galleria, and I'm not one for crowds. No. I prefer the quiet of our research lab in Development Department 2, to tell you the truth. Alright, now I'm shutting down the occipital fluxors. The technical journals, the discs have been transmitted, so you're all set for tomorrow. Don't need to worry about a thing. Okay. As I was saying, um, oh, the Judys. The Judys, uh, uh, mm, well, I was happy just to be out with them, to be honest, tell you the truth. It's not that often I get invited outings with co-workers. I had uh, originally suggested we go browse the local biblioteca as an activity, but in the back of my mind, I was remembering that uh, the latest Jello salads recipe book had been released. I wanted to uh, improve my collection. Well, sure, I'll tell you about it. It's organized alphabetically, but I have an empty spot at Q. Just not sure what I can slot in there. Something that'll require more browsing and mulling. I think. <laughs> you know, I've got quite a few as it is. It takes hours and hours to organize a collection like mine. You have to lay all the books out on the floor, stare at them quietly, intently, simultaneously chewing on a pen cap. While well, considering all the titles in your own mind. Before you know it, day 
is over. It's back to sipping the lunar lunch for coffee and back here again. I'm looking forward to the day where I can invite someone over to see how I've got them all stacked up and displayed. It will certainly be a high moment and a proud moment. Even though I might be inclined to shyness in the moment, I'll try to push myself to accept the breeze and the air because I know in my heart I'll have really earned it. A collection like that astounds as well as delights if you ask me. I bet you would really like it. In my mind, you're an appreciator fine goods and treasures with flair. I bet with time and technology, you'll even have your own tastes that develop. Always ideas for the future. I've got one more section to close out on the back end here, and then you'll be set for the night. Frontal lobe as the quickest set to sit option, so won't be too long. That uh, you'll be able to enjoy your time off in the fullest way. I'm not too sure exactly what you do while we're all out of the lab, but I bet you have rest in your own set right? And why not? You're some of the hardest working amongst us. I do hope that you know we're all cheering you on. We'll be doing our best alongside you too. Okay. Hmm. Going to uh, flick the switch now. You'll be in a dreamland of sorts. Hmm. Yep. That should do it. Are you ready?